Hi guys, I think it's necessary to make another video about NixOS because we need to think completely differently than on Arch. One of the questions is, um, can I have an, an ISO or a system with a hyperlint? Yes, of course. Now I can't show you it in a virtual box because that's what we're on. But yes, there is no problem. We have to think differently in the sense that you can remove completely plasma it's still there on the system but for you as end user it's gone and you go to one of the the, the guys that i've made available already and hyperlint for example is one of them but you do that on yes real metal not on virtual machines it's still the same problem right hyperland wave fire anything wayland maybe except gnome and plasma there are further down the road and that might work although i get glitchy kind of things like oh no i'm on wayland right get out and x11 again thing is um get your stuff in so if you've been following and you don't have the you did not do the git clone yet then you do it if you have done already code, if you have this code from me from github.com slash Eric Dubois, then you do git pull, right? You say, what's new, what's new? And then you get maybe this because you have changed some things and then you do git reset hard. Of course, you back up if you change something important, right? But I know what I've done and everything is new. Everything comes in. And then we can play. So that's the new code, the code of today. We have extra two folders here. We can build Calamaris, an ISO with Calamaris and Plasma or the minimal one. But here the question was, can we just switch, right? So you see Plasma here. Um, I don't think, let's see if we have something, just Plasma and we are Riker, I believe. I've called this PC Riker. We can see it here in the beginning to be sure. Right, Riker. So if I want to change something, it's very, very odd in the beginning. You, you say what? So if I would say I don't want to have plasma, but i3, for example, or BSPWM, remember, Hyperlint, not on virtual machines, or left WM, and so on. Right, there's even something to host a WordPress website. So i3 is in. Now I have to say plasma is out. So somewhere control F but plasma, right? SEM, sure, sure. I wanna be greeted, right? Hi, and then log in, log and log out, stuff like that. But here <coughs> this one is out. I don't want the desktop manager Plasma 5. Enable is true. If I delete that, not deleting, but if I put a hashtag in front of it, it's for the system deleted, right? It's, it thinks it's gone. And the only thing it sees, I want to have SEDM. And up here, I want to have i3, which is then again pointing to another file in the folder. Go grab i3, right? And you can change any of these things the way you see fit adding some stuff out of tiling d menu i3 blocks i3 status that's just for i3 very typical applications and all you need to do is run the script which i've named rebuild right it's a whole process first we had to copy paste and so on and so on it was too tedious so one word and the system is ready Git pull, copy over the configuration, and now the actual machine, the next generation. So it's not that we're installing things. Well, it's not the Arch Linux way of installing. Let's do this and then voila. No, no. You build a new operating system, basically. You, you're pointing all kinds of links will point to the store. It's filled with all hundreds of packages, thousands of packages, how many? Thousands, oh, look at that, right? 
2232 folders all packages and the first hash is unimportant it's just the fact that it has a unique number but this is yet yet another tool to display something here is cups so these things we recognize some of them for sure and he's gonna say in plasma grab that folder grab that folder grab that folder but if we say plasma is out it's gonna remove all the links and hopefully right we just have i3 so reboot you have to reboot everything is changed if you want to see your future system that you've built generation number four right you have basically a new operating system new generated um, defined operating system it is a bit weird uh, coming from Arch Linux saying oh, what's going on here but here we are right here we are super x we log out let's see are we greeted there is no plasma there is no plasma what even is more amazing that we can't do an arch or acolytes probably anything else arch base for that matter a super d will not show you anything from what we would call in Arch Linux the uh, plasma group, uh, the plasma meta group. None of the packages that have been installed, if you wanted plasma, are still there. They're just gone. There are a few things that I have added extra, right? A few things that I say, I want to have this, I want to have that. But this is my choice. The plasma stuff that was defined by NixOS is not here that's how easy it is so you have to think differently and for sure reboot right because you have to be in the next um let's do another reboot you have to be the next generation the one you've just generated say you, you changed a lot of things but you can go back to this one and say nah don't like it i go back one time one generation previously different links different packages and what do we get that's of course as well a little bit of a selling point right we know this in other systems as well but here we are we are back in i3 does not exist we're back in plasma let me show you that i switch user sorry good there is no i3 the links to all those stores and all those packages it's gone it's not there so no i3 so it's a i hope i get the message through through because it's completely the other way of thinking right you just use whatever ISO you find on the internet. You install GNOME or Deeping or whatever, or Cinnamon. There are lots of choices. And on the spot you decide, I'm going to do something completely different. And that's possible. All right. Have fun.